Hi, we're a CCO1 design of a cooling vest. My name is Nigel. I'm Chu. And I'm Juan. And we're here to present you with our product, which we called Frozen Storm. In each slide, you'll find a small video explaining the content of the slide on the bottom right corner. Please follow along, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. The general objective of this project is to design, fabricate, and test an innovative cooling vest that can be used with body armor and protective clothing. The deliverables we want this vest to have is that it's effective at removing heat from the human body, it uh, provides an optimum balance between the comfort and the weight of the device, it uh, maintains the mobility of the wearer, and lastly it should be light and portable so it can be used in everyday jobs or military applications. And this is our final prototype. This prototype is meant to be worn under the protective layer. It is one inch in thickness as it allows for an air cavity through which air can circulate. At the back, we can see the inlet port for our two centrifugal fans, which push air around the vest and come out of the user's neck. The user can power these fans with portable batteries, rechargeable batteries, for any duration of mission up to four hours. The remaining on the vest, the elevation is generated by some tubular inserts. These all weather, all condition, washable inserts are placed inside general wicking material fabric for an aesthetic appeal. We've also improved the design of the structure by incorporating only four vertical columns and two lateral columns on each side. Similarly, on the back, this allows for optimal air circulation required to evaporate the water located within the highly absorbent shovel moist material. And this is our evaporated layer. This layer is placed over a wicking layer. The wicking layer is this white material that can be seen here. It takes moisture or sweat off of the body and transfers it onto the evaporated layer, thus enhancing that replenishing of water. It also makes sure that the user is not wet and the skin doesn't become uncomfortable. Here can be seen a PCM insert. The PCM inserts are strategically placed throughout the body while allowing for some of the sweat glands in the body to still sweat and transfer that water onto the evaporated material. The PCM inserts have been packaged by us in polyester plastic and have been ordered from corroded firms. These inserts are located in meshing and stretchy materials throughout the vest. We can see some of these inserts are located on the underarms of the user on each side and we have a back insert on the back of the user that still allows for an opening in the center column of, of the back such that all of those sweat glands are exposed. The user in order to activate this vest and refill the water in the vest is able to dip this vest, spray it, whatever they wish. They can undo the velcro in the rear of the vest, take out the electrical fan box such that the fan is not involved in any of the water that is being used. We can see this fan box has been put together and designed by us to prevent impact from damaging the fans within it. There are two centrifugal fans, each blowing in each direction. These fans have a power of about 20 CFM and are silent for the purpose of safety and under any undercover mission or any sort of mission. Ideally, this inlet port is meant to be designed such that it is flexible and it falls beyond the user's protective equipment. Thank you and I hope you like your design.